Hello reception, it's Mrs Jones here and I have got your English challenge for today. We have looked at some space stories, some, some um, fiction books, but I wanted to look at some non-fiction, some real information. So what I've done is I've had to look at the internet and I looked at a web page called um, National Geographic for Kids and I found some information about an astronaut called Tim Peake. I also looked at a website Espresso, the one that we use at school. And on the school website, on the reception class page, is the website address and all the login details for Espresso. So you can have a look at it at home too. So what I've done is I've done a little bit of research. I've been finding out all about the astronaut, Tim Peake, and I have written some sentences for us to read. Okay, so we're going to read some sentences. And then we are going to write our own sentence about Tim Peake. This, this is, 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 this is, t, im, t, im, t, im, Tim. This is Tim. Now, this word is slightly different because um it's his name and it's spelt a particular way so this has got a different e sound so here sometimes when we have an a and an a together it does actually make an e sound and you will learn that um later on um but for his name it does actually make an e sound so we're going to sound that out saying the e sound ready p e Eek. and he has also got an e at the end but we don't pronounce that as an e so it's peak tim peak this is tim peak there he is there's the astronaut and he um went into space and he went to the international space station oh let's read this sentence i've got another sentence for you now remember if we find a tricky word we've got to circle it that's right ready so what's this word he well done so i'm going to draw a circle around that because i know that that is a tricky word he and and went went in 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 a makes a funny sound doesn't it really want it to be an if but rocket well done he went in a rocket so this is the rocket and I um, found these pictures on the internet and I put them in for you so this is the rocket and this is the capsule so this is the bit that Tim Peake was in with um, two other um, astronauts so I think that held three people and then this is a picture of the actual space station. It's called the International Space Station. And sometimes you can see it move across the sky, the lights of it move across the sky. So let's find out. I wonder what he did on the International Space Station. And I've written a sentence about it. So let's have a look. Get my pen ready. He... As, as, has, he has, oh, what's this word? Hmm, do I do the sound buttons or is it a tricky word? You're right, it's a tricky word, so I'm going to circle it, aren't I? Because it's two. He has two. F, X, F, X, F, X, Fix. He has two fix. Ings, 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 things. He has to fix things. And there's a picture of um, him. You can tell because he's got a British flag on his suit. So there's Tim Peake. He's outside the International Space Station. So he's actually in space in his special 
suit, his space suit, and he's fixing things. So they had to go up to the International Space Station to fix things and um, do lots of experiments and things like that. Now we're going to think about writing our own sentence about Tim Peake. So I've got a little video for you to watch and then we can write our own sentence about him. Okay. So that was a little video there of um, Tim Peake and because in space there's no gravity so on earth there's gravity and if I drop things they fall, fall back down don't they things are pulled back down to the ground but in space there is no gravity so he can float around mm, that sounds like a really good sentence he can float hmm he can float. Now, I've got something to help me write my sentence. So, get ready. Think about your sentence. So, I want to write about Tim Peake being able to float. So, he can float. I'm going to say it. He can float. I'm going to say it again just to make sure that I remember that sentence and it stays in my head. He can float. Now I'm going to count how many words are in my sentence so I don't forget any words when I write them. So are we ready? He can float. He can float. How many words have I got in my sentence? Can you count them with me? He can float. Three, that's right. So what I need to do is got my sound mat here as well to help me so he 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 can float so the first word is he and I know that I need a capital letter and I know that he is a and an f together he he now I know that I need to have a finger space because I don't want all my words squashed together so I'm going to put my finger here he can Float. Right, so I'm going to sound out float. 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 I need another finger space. Float. And I know that O is the one with the goat, isn't it? O. So it's an O and an A. Float. Float. He can float and I know that I need to have a full stop at the end to tell everybody that's the end of my sentence. Okay, so we have done a little bit of research. We found out a little bit about Tim Peake. We've read some sentences. We've used our um, sounds to help us and we've thought about tricky words. So I've written a sentence. Now, your challenge for today is to write a sentence you could use my sentence he can float or you might want to add a little bit to it and make it even better he can float up and down he can float around you might want to start your sentence with tim tim you might want to think about a sentence that i wrote earlier tim went in a rocket you might want to think about that okay so we can't wait to see all your amazing writing today. Draw a little picture as well. And I think it's going to be fantastic. So enjoy your challenge and we look forward to seeing them. Bye bye. OK, so we've read those sentences. Now we need to write our own sentence. So I have got a little video for you to watch from Espresso all about Tim Peake in the International Space Station. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so well done. We've written our sentence together. 
So your challenge today is to write your own sentence. You can use my sentence to help you. So you could write, um, Tim can float up and down or Tim can float around or Tim can float in the rocket. You choose, okay, your choice. But remember to say your sentence, count the words and really use your sounds to help you sound out all the sounds in the words, okay? Um, draw a little picture and write your sentence and then get your grown-ups to email it in to us. Okay, we can't wait to see them. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.